Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you guys with a brand new video. Uh, I'm so excited you guys to watch this video right now. Basically, I'm going to be reacting to the Sean Witherspoon guest commercial they just created together. Uh, I've seen a little bit of it. It looked honestly amazing. Like, just the thought of Sean Witherspoon being in a guest commercial blows my mind and it's just like the ultimate motivation. Uh, if you guys didn't know this, Sean Witherspoon is actually like probably the single most like influential person in my life when it comes to like learning what I want to do, finding what I want to do, seeing that somebody else could do it and just doing it so right. Honestly, Sean Weatherspoon and all of round two is just living the dream and they created something really, really special in the vintage community as well as the streetwear community. Round two kind of fills the gap between vintage and hype and like brings them together all in one super cool store. Um, and I'm just so, so happy for them. Like they're in New York, they're in Virginia, they're in LA. They're just killing it on all fronts. I'm so happy for them as well as their online store. Um, yeah, so you guys, I can't wait to look at this and react to it with you guys. I'm gonna watch it all the way through with you all and then give you my opinion about the video after it ends also super super good news you guys my website is back go check that out if you would like to support me in the page uh, I really do appreciate you guys I'm doing a little sale right now I'm always giving out deals to all my subs I love you all uh, link in the description if you guys want to check it out sorry for plugging but I had to you guys this is how I make my living my question of the day yesterday was awesome by the way you guys I love seeing all the stuff you guys used to wear back in the day it really was nostalgic for me because I wore a lot of the same stuff you guys wore a lot of those old skate brands um, just like seeing like people talk about Hollister Oh my god, dude. I remember the days of wearing Hollister. That, that was a rough, dark time. I don't really want to talk about. My question of the day, I want to have a little debate with you guys down in the comment section because I know there's going to be people on both sides. Do you guys buy into the hype of the vintage guest tees? Like, the vintage guest striped shirts go for a lot of money, like up to 150, 200 bucks. Um, easily, honestly, they're all over a hundred. Do you guys think it's worth it for this shirt? Do you think it's like basic and overhyped, or do you think it's like a super cool shirt that totally deserves its value? I'm really curious to see how you guys decide on this. Um, me personally, I do think the price is getting out of hand when it comes to rare colorways and stuff like that and crazy designs. I think that's totally justified for having a bigger price tag. But some of these basic ones, like the one I'm wearing, um, I feel like it's just going for a lot of money that might not 100% be deserved by some of these more basic colorways. But at the same time, they are vintage shirts and they. They are super super clean they're comfy they're such a cool piece to me i can't show enough love for this shirt but yeah answer that question of the day in the comments down below for me please guys i want to have a discussion about this i think it'd be really really interesting you guys already know i had to rock the vintage guest striped tee i think this colorway might even be in this video is a dark green um i love vintage guest tees I, i've said it like a billion times all right you guys let's just get into watching this video now i cannot wait to look at it sean if you're watching this which i know you probably aren't if you somehow are though bro you've inspired like an entire generation shout out to you bro you're doing everything right and and I have like the utmost respect for what you do. And yeah, bro, you're the man. I started working with guests recently and they brought me through their archive. Something with character, it catches your eye and it bad. means something. And I think that's Such why my shape. generation so is Shout focused on John, vintage bro. right now. And the best way that I can see these other eras and get close to living these times is through the clothing. And that's why the quality He's means so much to me. You'll put on an original guest striped shirt. You immediately put yourself in that year. And it gives me goosebumps even talking about it. It's so true. And if you've ever experienced that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I pretty much like surrounded myself hey. in original <laughs> guests and wouldn't let myself out of it until the new stuff was exactly like that. In the early 80s up to the 90s, guess was producing a lot of their best product here in Los Angeles. It's where city Wood meets smash. desert, succulents, there's sand, Succulent, it's sunny bro. all day, every like day. You get vibes of these earth tony colors. You get lots of browns and lots of green. Hey. It kind of all goes together, but somehow it's a city. And that's what we're going to bring to you at Hell Complex Hell yes, man. Oh my god, yo, everyone that's at ComplexCon or is able to go to ComplexCon, I'm so jealous. And if you guys are able to go, you need to go. Last year looked amazing, bro. Like, this looks like a dream to me. I almost want to fly down there just to go see it. Um, Sean, what a what a commercial, bro. This shit, like, gives me goosebumps just listening to him, realizing he is on Guess's page, like, making a commercial with them, collaborating with them, bringing back vintage Guest Stripe tees, like, bringing back the material, the feel of them, the look to them. Sean said that he, like, made these exact replicas of the vintage Guest tees, which I love. I know a lot of like resellers and stuff that have guests are upset by all this because it will be hurting the market for vintage guest striped shirts but honestly like it's gotten a little too out of hand in my opinion i want to see more people wearing vintage striped guests because it's like one of my favorite things i don't even know why i enjoy it so much i just like something about the look of it is just gorgeous bro i don't know what it is i cannot describe it honestly i would love to see way more people rocking this and i think it's really good just for the whole like culture my hope is that this whole drop is going to bring a little more attention to guest items and like vintage guests and just vintage in general 
um, because I don't know, it's gonna make it way more accessible for a lot of kids to grab this stuff that otherwise wouldn't have cared about it very much. And like seeing the hype around it, I think, watching these sellout times is gonna make some people realize that these are banging shirts. I think just because Sean is working on this project, a lot of people will be buying it just for him as well, which is good, just because it will be bringing more like brand uh, awareness over to guests and guest striped shirts, which I, I really wanna see happen. Um, I just think vintage guest striped shirts are a really, really cool item. They are really underappreciated by a lot of the dudes that are super into hype and supreme and stuff like that. And to Sean himself, dude, like this man cannot do anything wrong. I swear, like the whole Cortez um, collab he did with Nike was so, so sick. The shop they made, the little pop-up, like looked insane, bro. Like it literally hurts me that I can't be out there and like attending these events, meeting Sean, dude. This is definitely one of the biggest inspirations in my entire life, like a role model. I think he's a brilliant role model for anyone else. I just said brilliant. It's not like Harry Potter or Ron Weasley. <laughs> um, but I think this dude is like a really, really good influencer. So much like just greatness for the community comes from this man. And I really do look up to Sean. I love this dude. Like shout out to him, man. I just can't, I can't be like happy enough for him. I can't express how much um, Sean Weatherspoon as a person means to me. Just because I'm trying to follow in his footsteps and make my own store. I want to do vintage. I want to do hype. I want to do YouTube. Um, I just, he really is doing everything I want to do. He's living my dream, bro. And I want to get there with him one day. I know we're going to link up and do some crazy things in the future, Sean. I'm just telling you right now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this wasn't like the craziest video. No Supreme, no hype. I know this is day two in a row actually of uploading guests. Let's get it, guest boys. We in the building. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I love you all. Thank you guys for supporting me every day. I really do appreciate it. We're almost at 100k views on YouTube, which is insane to me, you guys. Um, I love you all so much. It's been your boy, Boone. I'm out.